With so many large game titles in the industry, it is common that the little guy gets lost in the shuffle. My name's Evan, but who cares? This is the Indie Game Highlight, brought to you by Alienware X51, now available online at Alienware.com. So first off, we would like to congratulate the winner of the Alienware New Year's Resolution Contest, LLX Blur. His 2013 gaming resolution was, how can I better support indie game developers? Well, we here at Curse love indie games, and we know that the best way to show your love to developers is to buy their games and encourage your friends to do the same. You can find some on Kickstarter, Humble Indie Bundle, Steam, Google searches, they're all over the place. So here are a few that you should check out. All right, so the first indie dev we think deserves mentioning is a game taking the block building sandbox experience to new heights. Blockade Runner, developed by ZamGMT. This is commonly compared to Minecraft in space, but has numerous different elements that stray away from the comparison. Mine asteroids for resources, blow up your friends' creations, construct vehicles and space stations with people living inside. For only $10, check out this game currently in alpha. The link is in the description. Our second pixelated title of the week is called Cube World. This RPG takes place in a voxel environment. Combatant giant monsters, rule the world and adventure the pixel-styled vintage setting. High-end artificial intelligence has been incorporated in the game, so just when you think you're safe, you probably aren't. So much to offer, hang gliding, dungeons, and much more. The developer Wally states it will come out when it's done. This baby is still in alpha and is already creating a huge buzz. This game on Steam is still not released yet and certainly can be placed in the pixelated category. Patterns, a forever expanding 3D environment, allows you to create simple and complex structure. This casual strategy simulation game puts you to the test against gravity. Not all of your buildings may stay standing by the end of the day, so make sure you're using the right materials. Feel free to check out this Steam link in the description. This sandbox is supposedly going to be released sometime in 2013. That wraps up this week's Indie Highlight. Check back next week for four more indie games to look out for. Thanks for watching. Enjoy the game. <laughs>